In this video we will learn how to do multi-component, multi-phase uh, simulations using our two-dimensional code. So I have a directory I just uh, downloaded from the web. I'm going to open this and the first place we should look is in the source files and uh, check the flags file to see that it's set up uh, correctly. It's actually flags.h. I'm just going to open it with a simple editor in Windows. And let's take a look. Uh, we need two fluid components. And the second component should, uh, we want this to be off because the sigma component is the one that we use for uh, miscible solute transport. In this case, we want to have immiscible components. And probably that's the main thing that we will need to change. Possibly with the exception of uh, a non-local forces, because we need to have a uh, repulsive interaction between these two fluid components that we're going to be simulating. So we'll turn on non-local forces. And that should do it. So I'll save this. And now I can go to SIGWIN and take care of the compile. Just type make. Whoops, I'm not in the right directory. And now type make. And hopefully it will uh, make without incident like this, a successful make. And that means uh, now we're ready to start looking at the other important file, which is the, in the input directory. Well, we need a domain too. We haven't done that, but maybe we can find one here that will work for a, for a simple... Uh, I guess I'd like something a little bit bigger and uh, square. And I guess uh, for first start here, it could just be totally uh, open. We'll have periodic boundaries on all on all sides. So let me create a new file. And I'll choose a one that doesn't appear here, which is a PPT file. So I'll have to do that a little bit differently. I'll start with one of these. I'll use uh, paint and then I'll change the attributes to be maybe a 50 by 50. And I'll ensure that the, there are no solids in here. I can view, or excuse me, view zoom and we'll get rid of the solids that are here. And of course it's important to change the name to be the correct name. And that will be 50 by 50 dot BMP or 50 X 50. And it has to be 24 bit. Okay, now we're ready to modify the params dot in file. First thing we will do is to modify the 
size to be 50 by 50. The characteristic length uh, is irrelevant. Uh, we'll have the same tau of one in both fluids. We won't have any gravity. Uh, none of this is really relevant. Let's leave this row A, B at one and zero be no source. I don't believe we have it turned on over there anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. And there's no sigma component. We won't be using these uh, in and outs unless they show up in the initial conditions. I don't believe they will. But down here is very important. Now we need to, this particular G value is for a single component multiphase change this to something much smaller. And also it has to be positive because positive means a uh, repulsive force. This is the surface interaction force and we have no solids so it won't matter. These two adsorptions, the only thing that will matter is the uh, repulsive force here. There are no solids, no dispersion. Just leave those where they are for now. No pressure boundaries. All boundaries will be periodic. And we do have to look up the initial condition. Like everyone else, I always forget. Let's go back to the source directory. Look under BCS, or actually, I guess, uh, there should be called, one called IC flags right here. Open that. So let's begin with a, uh, a rectangle, maybe. So initial condition 8. And the size of the rectangle can be determined by these uh, sizes here. So this is the relative size, goes from you know, 0.4 of the domain to 0.6 and from 0.7 to 0.8. Let's put it right in the, oh, it, it really, uh, let's put it right in the middle, 0.4 to 0.6 here. I don't really care about the velocities. I'm not going to bother to dump those. Okay, let's give this a try. Code seems to be running. Velocities are not too high in general. It looks like it's finished. Let's see if we can get an idea what kind of output we have by looking in the out folder. And I will switch to a thumbnail view. So here's our initial condition with a uh, rectangular or a square actually and then you can see that it quickly uh, evolves into a, a bubble system or bubble drop however you like to look at it. 